We recently uh, did a mailbag opening, yep. and in there we had a uh, we had a request to do some AVGN, and also because it's Halloween, bitches, uh, yep. we are doing uh, we're doing some spoopy stuff for so, our. Uh, Nate originally loaded up the Halloween Atari Twenty Six Hundred review, and I was like, "No, no, we can do better." The NES Friday the Thirteenth game which apparently was his 12th video that he ever posted and this was posted a grand spanking total of 12 almost exactly 12 years ago Mm -hmm. october (laughs) 20th 2006 avgn ladies and gentlemen entertaining nerds worldwide since 2005 fun fact uh also he bears a striking resemblance to my buddy mike who you have seen on the channel if you uh, watch streams that he's in. Mm-hmm. Who bears a striking resemblance to my bloody Shink Diesel. <laughs> this also is true. There's apparently a lot of dudes that look like that. Yeah. <laughs> but. It's that thing where there's like seven other pe- seven people that look like you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or maybe they're all just the same person. I don't know. But Could be. But yeah. No. Uh, this game is bad. Yeah. This game is <clears throat> shittacular. But. But. We do have a bright spot from this game. At they put the skin. They put this skin in the new Friday the Thirteenth game. Did they really? And they even ca- did made a brand new like chip tune theme. Nice, specifically <laughs> for this this oh, skin. That's so and it's good. awesome. That's and it actually amazing. made it in before the bullshit. Yes. <laughs> good. Well, here's here's one thing that's happening with the Friday the Thirteenth the new game. Yeah. <clears throat> Gun Media is staying on as publisher. Mm-hmm. Okay. However, they're lim- they're limiting themselves with development, but uh, or, and Ilphonic is completely moving on. Ilphonic's going on to something else. Yeah. Ilphonic was the original like designers of the engine and everything, or the mm-hmm. uh, of the game and everything. But <clears throat> a new studio is coming in to take the reins from them. Really? To continue to continue uh, making. The new maps and everything. Hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. This is a. Oh yeah, and I'm excited because we're getting continu- a continuation of this, and also um, there was a changing of the hands of the of the of the rights to the movie mm-hmm. of the original movie. Uh, the original Sean Cunningham, the original director, no longer is the sole proprietor of the franchise. Now the original writer is actually has actually, uh, I believe. Where they won the uh, where the writer won the case, I now believe they're fifty fifty with mm-hmm. Sean Cunningham, which okay. which a lot of people thought was going to be a huge deal. And uh, Ilphonic left after they found out that Sean Cunningham was pretty much going to lose. But now that the writer has come along and said, "Hey, we want you, I want you all to continue development on this." Oh, thank God. Um, he didn't freeze it up like like a lot of people thought he would, but yeah. Thankfully, the Friday the Thirteenth game looks like it's going to be safe for now. Ooh. I'm hoping. I'm hoping more uh, development continues, and we get the Jason X level, and we get Jace, the Jason X skin, and uh, I. There's just so much that I want to be put in that game, and also I want Nick to play it with us because I want him to be Jason. Oh, Nick lot. would lose his mind. <clears throat> the thing is, is uh, I don't like it because. Like, other than, like, some other stuff about it that I was just like, eh. Um, the reason I love Dead by Daylight is because I can play a killer every time if I feel like doing that. Or I can survive every time if I feel like doing that. Well, that's one thing they're wanting to add into the game that that Ilphonic didn't want to do. Mm-hmm. They wanted it to be, uh, they wanted the randomization to be, to be up. Yeah, when I played, I only got to play Jason, like, once in, like, the several hours of game time I put into it. And it was kind of <clears> really well, disappointing. Well, that's why we need to be, come together as a group, like, all of us together, yeah. and the host can choose who Jason wants, you know, who Jason That would is. be more fun, like, on yeah. a community day. So. Mm-hmm. so that's something we're going to have to do. Peanut? So, um, anyway, the AVGN did this review of uh, the Friday the 13th mm-hmm. game on the original NES, and uh, we're going to start it up now. And uh, let's see what happens. God, this makes me feel old. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, as as it should. Cause, uh... <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Yep. Oh. This video takes me back to the past. 
Doesn't wow. that look like Mike, though? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Yep. Kind of looks like Heineken. A, a mix between Mike and uh, John from Super Carlin Brothers. Or Jay, rather. Yep. He actually had to stop calling himself the Angry Nintendo Nerd. And he had to yeah. call himself yeah. the Angry Video yeah. Game Nerd. Yeah. Because Nintendo contacted him and said, we don't want you to be associated with yep. us. And yeah. it's just wow. like, and Ninten- I'm just like, fuck you. Why you on Nintendo? What can you say? The knight going into the eye in the beginning right away should be an indication of how cool it is. This game is infamous for being great, right? I mean, everybody loves this game because it's awesome. I mean, the concept is just brilliant. Adapting a series of R-rated slasher movies for all the kiddies to play? Great idea. There's six camp counselors you can play as, whether they're characters from the movie or not. I don't uh-huh. care because it's a good game. Going around throwing rocks at zombies, collecting lighters, running around trying to find fireplaces to light. What more could you ask for? Oh, and every great game has a map screen, and being that the game is mostly side-scrolling, you can't tell which direction you're supposed to be going. But, but that's cool. It's cool. It makes it more challenging. I like that. Like when you're walking left, but you're really heading to the right on the map. I love figuring that shit out. <laughs> I love it. It's just great. Mm-hmm. James. James. Come on, like, James. Puke up a donkey's ass. What a shitload of motherfucking bullfuck. I mean, I'd rather be <laughs> Profanity. I love that he has all of Star Trek back there. He is Mike. Love He's... this game. Love the way the stones keep missing the zombies because they go in this nice arc that flies over them. Fantastic. Gotta get the knife. It's mandatory. <clears throat> but yeah. It's straight sound? up just Mike. That's the Jason alarm. When you hear that, you have to switch to the map screen and see which cabin's blinking. See right there? That's where I am. And over there, that blinking cabin, way over there, that's where I'm supposed to go to fight Jason. And I have a time limit, so I need to get all the way over there as fast as I can, or else Jason kills one of the camp counselors. So, which way do I walk? I guess left, because it's left on the map. Nope. Sounds self-explanatory. So, here I am, just following the yellow brick road. <laughs> that's what it looks like, right? Yeah. The yellow shit road's okay, more like it. Because this game kicks ass. Oh, fuck. Look at the map. I've just been walking in the wrong fucking direction. What a wonderful game. The bare basics of left and right do not apply. <laughs> and that's why this game is so great, because it's free from all logic. Logic is for pussies. So, I finally get to the cabin, I walk in, and the mannequin counselor says, Thank you. Thanks for walking into the cabin? I didn't fight Jason yet, but you're welcome. Oh, it's gonna happen to you. Around somewhere. Oh yeah, he's coming. Uh oh, he's coming. Whoa! Well, he scared the shit out of me, and now he's fighting me like in Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Yeah. <laughs> so I beat him, but he'll be back many times, just like in the movies. Even after they called part four the final chapter, and then they went on to make it all the way up to number ten, known as Jason X, where he's in outer space. But that's another story. So for now, I wait, back to hold on. Jason fought Master Chief. <laughs> what the fuck? Wasn't this a great idea? Isn't kind it of. fun? Like going 3D for the cabin parts. I love how smooth the camera angles are. The overall design, the astroturf floors, just ingenious. <laughs> Astro the turf controls floors. so cool, yep. you just might yep. have to tap the D-pad twice to get it to move. Isn't this fun? I just love trying to find the door because there's nothing in here, and now I just want to get the fuck out. Just want to get the fuck out. Fuck out. Is, is he gone? Yeah. <laughs> Hmm? 
<laughs> the Henry Men Freddy score. Yep. <clears throat> Alright. Yep. Brisk walking pace is your best defense right now, just like with Pyramid Head. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. God damn it. Open, you piece of shit. Son of a Are you fucking kidding me? Shit. Don't kill me. Kill him. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Keep playing, noob. So I'm walking around, looking for fireplaces, answering to the Jason alarm every once in a while. And along the way, I continue to collect lighters, keys, weird bottles, and because that rock is as useless as a wad of paper, upgrading to the knife is essential. I go into a cabin, and right away there's another mannequin camp counselor. I love how they have no face. It's real creative. Mm -hmm. I love all those options on the right, most of which could be condensed into just the simple use of the A button. But this game just overcomplicates things because it's so good. So let's try change. All right, we switch camp counselors. So now my character's slower. I don't have any of my items anymore. Yep. I'm back to using the fucking rock again. Yeah. That really accomplished a lot. The day to night transitions are nice and smooth. I mean, seriously, it's a big improvement over Simon's Quest, where a fucking box appears and it interrupts the gameplay. Oh. No need for it, but Friday the 13th doesn't have that problem, proving that day to night transitions can work when done right. Jason comes out every once in a while to scare the shit out of you, and he looks really good. Are those shuriken? That's a good color for him. Knowing that Jason couldn't have been the only enemy in the game, it's interesting to see the use of zombies, birds, and even wolves to add to the mix. Even Jason's mom makes an appearance. And you know she and reminds me of Borges. those annoying fucking Medusas from Simon's Quest. Yep. Or wait, I'm talking about Castlevania 3. What, I hate that game too? No. Well, anyway, let's get back to Friday the 13th. <laughs> No. I'm... So, I'm dead. So once all six of your camp counselors are gone, the game's over. That's ingenious. That's the best game over screen I ever saw. For real, I'm actually being dead serious. Dead fucking serious. That's brilliant, right? You and your friends are dead. Game over. It's priceless. Like, I can't believe it. Isn't that a mean thing to say to kids? Nobody ever dies in Nintendo. They're either <laughs> defeated or they turn into an item and like float away. But here comes a game like Friday the 13th that just cuts the bullshit, shows some balls, comes flat out and says, you're fucking dead. And your friends too. You know? <laughs> it would have to say something even worse. Like, I, got a, I got a good idea what it should say. It should say, you're dead. Your friends are dead. Your family's dead. Your fucking pets are being skinned alive. Your mom's a fucking whore. You suck at life. The whole world hates you. You're going to hell. Live with it. Game over. Damn. So, that's it. What? What? Come on. What? I don't know what else to say. The music? Just listen. <laughs> it's fucking great. And even better, it loops over and over so you get to hear the same thing constantly. Yep. Just wonderful. I love those scary, faceless kids in the cabin. It makes me have nightmares. <laughs> As if the map screen isn't confusing enough, when you go into the cave or the woods, you have no idea where you are. When you stand on a path, you press up, and then the screen changes. You have no idea where you are, because the graphics are so repetitive. 
Every goddamn screen looks the same. I can't tell where I am or oh, where I'm going oh, with this shit. It's gonna cabins, happen to you. Just fucking horrible. I can't find the fucking fireplaces. I get lost once I'm inside. I can't even just simply turn around and see the door. The control's so fucking awkward. I'd rather play Doom on Atari. I'd rather play Halo on a Tiger Electronic Risk game. I'd rather drown in diarrhea. I'd rather fucking eat my fucking balls off and puke them up my fucking ass. I'd rather piss a cactus out of my dick. The music Ow. is fucking worse than life itself. And I turn the volume down, except for the fact that I have to hear the Jason alarm. It's all just a test of patience, and then it can kiss my fucking asshole. Oh! <laughs> Run for it! I mean, to be fair, it's a Nintendo product, so you know it's mental. Yes! This game is fucking horrible! Yes, drown it out. Yes. Drown it out. Oh, no. Oh, bottle of tequila. Oh, that's a lot of... That's oh, a that lot music. Of yep. on. Oh, <laughs> oh, my. One, two, Freddy's coming for <laughs> just, just you. The, to be the continued. Three, four, <laughs> Man, Five, James fucking six, Rolf. Grab a crucifix. Seven, eight, try to stay awake. Nine, ten, ten never sleep again. Let's never sleep again. Gonna sleep, yeah. Never sleep again. Mm. I always say, gotta do it again. So yeah, yeah. The so, AVGN, ladies and gentlemen, the angry video game nerd, the angriest and, man ever to exist on the internet. No, no, no. I've seen angrier. Well, there was angry gran grandpa, but he's dead. I've seen angrier. That guy that was playing that Mario thing. Uh, <laughs> Who yeah. put that deal? <laughs> yeah. Um, but I've actually seen angrier. Uh, Pat from the Best Friends is pretty goddamn angry. Uh, let's see. Um, who's the guy that plays with Mini Light all the time? Always breaks his controllers. Panda. Panda. Yeah, yes. Panda's, Panda's angry. A... Panda's an angry boy. Um. Uh, also, Nogla can get pretty fucking steamed. Too. Yeah. He's like, oh, Evan, I don't care about anything you're gonna say. I only care about the fucking game, and if it fucking works, if it don't fucking work, why the fuck are we playing? <laughs> <laughs> but also, no, John, no, sit on the floor, John. No, oh, John, no. John. Oh, God, John, oh, it smells so bad. God, John, what'd you eat? Did you eat? <laughs> All oh, the fucking nuts jerk. again! <laughs> yeah. Swagger. Swagger gets pretty steamed too. He's like, Karen, Karen, what are you talking about? Karen, what? Oh, the nuts! The nuts again! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the funniest shit. All right. Well, but yes, there there are angrier men on the internet. There aren't many, but there are angrier men on the internet. Hmm. Pretty much. No. Yep. And James Rolfe is one of the, is one of the, I'd say he's one of the angriest. Oh, absolutely. He's one of the angriest. <laughs> I'm just worried that, uh, you see, I see him in that video and I see him now and I'm just like, outside of like a few age lines here and there, he looks exactly the same. He's apparently meeting him in person. He's very, very calm and very nice. Well, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's a character. It's a character. Yeah. Yeah. To him, well, it's a lot like Doug. Doug is Doug is Doug Walker, and the Nostalgia Critic is a character. It's or like Nick on the couch versus Nick on stage. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, him on stage. I'm afraid of him on stage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, hell, dude, just from him singing alone, I saw a guy get knocked the fuck out. That, that was, did happen. That was hard. He was at our show last night. Oh, he was, was he actually? Was he okay? Mm. Was yeah, he's he fine. Doing good? Okay. Yeah. Did he get knocked out again? No. Uh, <laughs> that nobody washed last night. It's kind of a small uh, venue, like with not a lot of area. So if anybody moshed, somebody probably would have got knocked out. <laughs> but, I don't doubt that yeah. for a second. Uh, more likely, they would have knocked over the PA speakers. Than yeah, that's, not good. that's yeah. fair enough. Yeah. 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 So okay, I've <clears throat> so I've gone on record in saying James Rolfe is one of like the internet's first, like one of the internet's first 
big personalities it's that, true. that struck big. Mm -hmm. And looking back at his videos, I can see why because of the quality behind them. You know the gra you know the the Sorry. special effects yeah. for what they are. They're not they're not anything special, but they have a they have a feel of them to their own. That that's their own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I and I can see why I can see why people gravitate towards him and ex and sh and like always hold him up as one of like the biggest and most inspirational figures on the internet because he showed what was possible by people talking about video games, talking about nerdy shit and all that. And and you look at YouTube now, you look at how it's grown and how it's expanded and uh you know, James James has maintained himself. Uh he doesn't have the same level of success in terms of, well, okay, he's actually got more success, who am I kidding? But a lot of, you know, there's other gamers out there that are more popular than him and all yeah. that. Let's say, if mm -hmm. you put it in terms of, like, inflation, internet success-wise, he doesn't have the same level that he used to, but... No, no, no. He's yes. still very successful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. in modern, like, well, yeah. standards. Well, yeah. It, it, as the internet's become more mainstream, you know, more and more people have been shown to pretty much take up the mantle as, like, the favorites. You know, it's yeah. just like, you look at the ever-changing numbers on YouTube, you look at... For the longest time, PewDiePie was the number one channel on YouTube. And then before that, you had Smosh. You had Ray, uh, Ray William Johnson. You had uh, Nigahiga. You had, uh, you had um, um, Fred, for God's sakes. Yeah. Can we forget about that, can, can we burn mm. that to the ground? No. So, uh, apparently, Nate, Nate told us something very interesting about the Fred channel. Uh, the oh, Fred yeah. channel was purchased by a, uh, by a, rich, by a rich person... For an X amount of money, and made it to where it was uh, his kids, and uh, like their friends would upload videos on there, and they thought, oh, if we do that, you know, our kids, you know, they'll be happy because hey, they'll have millions of subscribers right out the gate. They'll be internet famous. Didn't work. No, no, no. Everyone like the subscriber count has gone nowhere but down, and they haven't posted videos in months. Yep. <laughs> so it's just like holy shit, and, and you know, there are channels out there like a lot of people consider the channels dead. That have millions of subs and all that, but they haven't posted in like six months. Mm -hmm. um, that's like Hot Diggity Demon. Hot Diggity Demon has like 1.2 million subs, but he just posted a video the other day, and it was a, his first video in uh, five months. Yeah, I mean, you've seen his animation quality. Yeah, I mean, Makes and people sense. like people keep coming back to that. People, well, oh, no, dude, no, no. like animation is a whole thing because people on. YouTube as fans understand the time it takes to do animation. Yeah. yeah. So there are a lot of animators that don't upload very often, but when they upload, they have great success and they yeah. have lots of subscribers yeah. right well, now. Well, it's like a new trend, actually. Well, Hot Diggity and, Demon, what he's done is he is uh, like he did for a while. He called uh, he called it his weekly brain dump, and what that was is it was a. Uh, him just getting on there and talking about like news stories and everything like that, mm -hmm. and he did an animated version of himself. And uh, he also had uh, two characters that he often came on there with, Goofball the asshole ghost, and uh, <laughs> his uh, his television who or his uh, television slash computer who was also like his uh, girlfriend. And he's just, he was just like, "What do you think, there, honey?" And like she like her face comes up and she just looks up at him, and then the type face comes across the screen, and it's just like it's just like I think he's full of shit. And he's mm -hmm. like, "I'm inclined to agree." And uh, it's really funny, and uh, he started. I hope, I hope Max gets back to gets back to posting more frequently because I always find what he says very funny. He's a very entertaining guy, and, and uh, kind of going off of that, like Soviet Womble. Yeah, I mean, Womble. somebody like that. Womble he's got three point one million subs, and his his times are anywhere from you know six months to three months to a month. Yeah, he just kind of posts when he posts, and I mean. Yeah. It's still good stuff. Don't get me wrong. I well, still love. Yeah. It, well, but... he makes. He's still. He's like a very popular streamer on his own. Oh yeah, him and, and Cyanide just do that. the streams, and usually they're golden. Yeah, yeah. yeah and... I'm sorry, I can't hear you over the sound of people giving me money. <laughs> the lines. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do not turn on full. Do not turn it on full. Yeah. Uh, Kyra, you watch a lot of animation channels on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. How 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 does that? Do they have pretty regular upload schedules? Or? Um. Well, it seems like. Uh, on like a couple channels like the Odd Ones Out and Jaden Animations, they used to upload like every two weeks, or they try to upload every two weeks, and now they can't. Now it's like once a month or once every other month, and 
you can understand why when you watch their videos because they've gotten longer mm -hmm. and they've mm -hmm. put more animation into them. Mm -hmm. And people give the animators, increased, so. especially Domix, if you know who Domix is, people mm -hmm. give him crap for, like, he hired some people to assist him with the videos. He still does voiceovers and he still animates parts of him himself. But he's like, you guys don't understand. If I did these by myself, I wouldn't have a video. I would only have a video like once a month or once every other month. And he's like, yep. you guys don't want that. You guys want, like, as many videos as possible, right? Yeah. So, so I had to hire more people. Well, you should do it on your own. <laughs> I respect the animation channels, though, because they put a whole lot of time and effort only for people to just be like, why can't you upload more? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. If they, if I, I can agree with that. <clears throat> yeah. Eagle I'm Raptor cool. actually ran into that a lot. I'm cool with people not uploading often if it's good quality. Yeah. And it, at the same time, like, I I kind of see the viewpoint of, like, Jaden's I like because it's it's a very personal touch to all her stories that she's yeah. done it all herself. Um, but I would totally understand if she started to hire people to help her put more out so that she could make a little more faster yeah. just because mm -hmm. you need that to support yourself. Like, yeah. yeah. If well, you yeah. need it to support yourself, you need it to support yourself. If that's your full time job and that's how you yeah. have to make it work, then you well, know somebody also that's like, how it has to work. Yeah. Somebody they, oh, go ahead, go uh, I was just gonna say and they've they've all said, you know, hey, if you guys want really big projects, give me like two or three months and you'll have like maybe two or three really good, really long videos a year. But mm. you guys don't want that. You guys want like Real quick, real yeah. short. Yeah. One of my the instant gratification generation. Yeah. One of my favorite animators, though, um, is uh, Crinkles. Yeah. And Crinkles. he made the Madness Combat series. Mm -hmm. oh, and oh, he oh, only oh. puts one out, like, once a year. Or sometimes, like, he'll do in-between ones, like, uh, they're shorts. Yeah. But when he puts them out, they're pretty long, and there's, like... So much stuff going on in them that you have to rewatch to even catch everything that happens. Yeah. And it's, like, impressive stuff. Like, he puts all the time that he feels like he wants to put into it in there before he releases it. And it usually pays off. Have, so. we, have we watched the... Have you seen the Madness Combat? I've so? seen a bit of it, yeah. We, I feel like we should watch those. I'd be down for be down. you guys reacting to them. Like, I've seen all of them. I'm a huge fan. They're so. really good. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure I'm Especially later them. on. Um, like, the first couple were, like, very loosely linked together. Mm -hmm. And then by, like, three or four, he started making it apparent that he was doing an ongoing story. Yeah. And they get real fucking epic later on. <laughs> I mean, and I like his whole concept to it goes. as well because it's just it's super dark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's real cool. Well, yeah, we, we we might have to do those. So I mean, the base summary of Madness Combat is it's a whole lot of dudes getting murked, but the deeper concept behind it is it's like reality is literally being torn apart as the as events are unfolding, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it gets fucking crazy because of it. There you go. <clears throat> so okay, I. I'm uh I'm happy that we were able to go back and we were able to watch some AVGN. Yes. I'm very happy yeah. that we were able to do that. And mm -hmm. uh, we hope that you all enjoyed it as well. And, uh, well, if you want to watch more AVGN, as always, link to the original videos down below. Check out James Rolfe and his channel. I mean, he's he's part of internet history. It's true. And if you, if you don't like the stuff he's putting out now, at least like, look at his old videos and see what made, what made him uh, as popular as he is. And you know, just just hey, go on like a little bit of an internet history adventure. Yeah, go uh, go to the old museum of internet history and just yes. oh, yes. just go and uh, go and enjoy it. Yeah, because it's uh, it's worth it. So it's all right. It. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you all for tuning in. And until next time, signing off. I'm Nate. I'm Ben. I'm Mothman. I'm Pickle Rick. She's not Mothman. She's Cairo. I'm Nick. He's not a pickle. <laughs> He's Clinton. He's a Rick. And Peanut is... He's Pickle Rich. Peanut is sleeping. Peanut has stationed himself in Puppy Blanket <clears throat> and is asleep. <laughs> All right. Well, so. thank you again, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.